Hello, I'm Sherry Singer. Welcome to Las Vegas City Scene. A look at your city government beyond the public meetings from the perspective of the men and women providing our benefits and services. Some good news if you need to get your passport, and you may just need one. And if you're looking for entertainment this spring, we've got your ticket and at a reasonable price. But first, a look at a city employee with a very colorful job, literally. In 1997, Marcus Tracy came to work part-time for the city's Office of Government and Community Affairs, affording him a unique opportunity to cultivate his knowledge and passion working alongside the community to expand public projects as an artist. They had this uh, event called Day in, the Arts Dis Day in the Arts District, and the Day uh, in the Arts District basically was a, an event that the city put together with um, uh, the nonprofit organizations within the Arts District, and along with that they wanted to do a mural, and so I was brought on board to do this mural in about three days. So I had a, about a week to put this together in the, arts, the Las Vegas Arts Commission. Um, actually, um, uh, uh, actually approved the design, and, 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 and I was able to, uh, from that point on, I got the paint ready, and I got the community members involved, and we started painting, and it was really a great event. During that event, basically, we had community members come out, and they started painting and taking, and taking part of this, this uh, mural project. So it was really great involvement. And the city also saw that as a success as well. And with that being a success, they thought that, that doing mural projects was a great way that they could kind of unify the city and the community at large to, to identify their identity within the city where they live and um, how they could uh, uh, bring people together to get to know each other. That the true beauty of these public projects is far beyond what meets the eye really took hold in 2005 because unifying communities with identity and history was the very vision of the city's centennial committee. Marcus was brought on board full-time as the art director of a special project to celebrate our 100th birthday. After all, if a picture's worth a thousand words, imagine the value of 100 murals towards chronicling our city's young history. So the city basically wanted to commit to do 100 murals in one year for the 2005 event, which of course means that meant that the city was turning 100 years, and so they wanted to do 100 murals. So I thought that was a huge challenge. How do you attract a large-scale mural project uh, such as 100 murals in one year, so you really have to do a lot of networking. You really have to get to know more than one community, but many communities in Las Vegas, and cultural centers, and nonprofit agencies, and for-profit uh, facilities, and and it was really a great partnership with so much. And as an example, this year at the Rafael Vera Community Center, this project was done by Aragu, which uh, he's originally from Mexico, and he did this project as part of the Centennial 100 murals project. And this is one of many. And he did such a fantastic job kind of co correlating with the history of Las Vegas and this immediate surrounding area, as well as uh, the, the, the cultural, this historic um, backgrounds of a lot of people who live in this part of the community. And uh, it was probably one of the most dynamic projects. And what's just very interesting and very rewarding about this is the VREN. At the end of 2005, we actually were able to accomplish 180 murals rather than 100 because we really helped closely with the public school. And there's so many people that just jumped on board and wanted to do a project. It was just overwhelming of response. So it was really worked out very well. More recently, another project that worked out well didn't have quite the same wiggle room, if you will, in terms of planning part of the upcoming May 10th episode of ABC's Extreme Home Makeover Show, taped here in Las Vegas last month, includes a mural project spearheaded by the city with a nexus to the featured family. The wife was a, or is a mural painter, and so the city really wanted to do a mural project. And it's not so much about paying homage to her in general, but also paying homage to the arts district and its, um, and, and its uh, lively, arts production that has been going on in the last 10 years and I really spoke to the director and the producer that the arts district basically would be the greatest or probably the best place to do a mural project which would open the show and I knew with the resources of uh, uh, working with the Office of Cultural Affairs we were able to kind of tie in a site 
an artist and have all the materials ready for this mural to be painted basically in about two, a day and a half or so. We offered the director and the producer like five different possible sites that they could choose from. And so basically I had uh, taken digital photographs of those sites and um, they decided on the site. So they chose actually the location um, of Coolidge and First Street. It's the old mission building, a uh, laundry building uh, across from the arts district. And uh, there was four artists that I contacted. Within hours I contacted them and one decided to commit to do it and that was Jerry Misco. Jerry Misco basically planned the mural, the mural project, it, it implemented, designed, and had it approved by the following day. Um, uh, his artwork basically speaks of Las Vegas, especially with his neon signs and his kind of abstract images with color that the, uh, that the neon signs emit, especially in the evening. And so this basically, the Welcome to Las Vegas sign is shown as an example of the type of work that he does in the evening. So it really enhances, with the back background, enhances those signs uh, neon uh, um, um, luminosity and I think that uh, Jerry did a fantastic job of putting that together as well as with the community. Again you'll get to see the fruits of that labor along with the rest of the country on May 10th.